Begin by getting comfortable. Soften your gaze. We're going to daydream together. May I tell you a story? This came my way via a wise teacher. It's a wonderful children's book called Voyage to the Bunny Planet by Rosemary Wells. And it's going to be the perfect launching pad for our guided daydreaming today. Olympic athletes and genius inventors like Albert Einstein in his day tend to daydream their biggest successes before they take shape. So in the spirit of all great creators, just lean back in your easy chair. The bunny planet's waiting there. Far beyond the moon and stars, 20 light years south, of Mars spins the gentle bunny planet and the bunny queen is Janet born with an amazing ear she heard what no one else could hear children who had lost their way always she was heard to say here's the place where we begin on the day that should have been. Floating in her starry dome, Janet comes to take us home. Janet says to you, come in, here's the day that should have been. I sit with my laptop and notepad on a covered deck, overlooking deep brown-green water flowing lazily. I hear an enormous bullfrog croakily plop into the water nearby. I see tiny, lily-like water flowers give way as waves from the bullfrog's splash ripple through them. I smell life, salty, swampy, mysterious, sun-soaked life, though I see deep shadows hiding beneath the Spanish moss-laden live oak trees stretching over the water. I see tall, snowy white, proud, long-legged egrets picking through the shallows, mining the sludgy, sucking, murky earth for juicy, tasty morsels. My hand reaches out to grasp a tall, cool glass of iced tea with a slice of orange. I breathe in its familiar aroma and pause to sip in its icy, cool goodness. It's a good day to write all the things in black and white taking place on my screen things that must be seen. I feel words flying from my fingers almost as if they have a will of their own. Everything from my page descriptions to my saucy tagline to my refund policy is coming fast and feels fantastic. I feel like all these words that have been clamoring to come out are all conspiring to create dedicated acts of beauty in my life and the lives of others, I feel good. It's perfect for me, and the timing's perfect all as well. Aided by this, it's time to spiral back from the bunny planet, though it never really goes away. I feel my face. I smile gently. I wiggle my feet. I'm fully back to myself once again and get to create my one-of-a-kind writing. I feel good.